get you upstairs for your nap, and Erica needs quiet, so no shenanigans. Mom, please, I haven't shenaniganed in about six years. <laughs> I've hooliganed, I've no good nicked, I've ne'er done well. Just yesterday, I found myself rabble-rousing. Well, you shut up. Mr. and Mrs. Foreman, I don't know what to do. Not this again. Kitty, make it stop. What did you do? Are you brain damaged? <laughs> do you know what it's going to be like living with your mother? Just more of a delight every day is what. There's a universal quality to the show in terms of, uh, in terms of people identifying with it. It was always a family show. And then beyond that, it's just funny. It means a lot to your mother. You're staying here and helping out the family. <clears throat> well, uh... There. Doctor said I should write down my feelings. Are you actually thanking me? This is a list of yard work. <laughs> it's hard to see when you're in the middle of it. It's like watching your own kids, you know? Most of the time, you're trying to keep control of the situation in terms of watching them grow up. Odds are he's not going to amount to anything, and I don't want him blaming me. <laughs> see? That is exactly the kind of thing that I have to get away from. Oh, my heart. Dad, Dad, Dad. I just thought I'd break the tension. <laughs> necessarily sit back and say, well, now you see, that was really me. Red was named after Bonnie Turner's father. It was not a stock character. This has nothing to do with you being a foreigner. It's about you taking advantage of my daughter like a sneaky foreigner. <laughs> I'd say to Terry, where'd you come up with that line? I said, my dad used to say that. When characters come from that kind of real base, and people feel that, they identify with it. You can't miss it. It's right next to the pie in the sky office. <laughs> jackass. How about I drive my foot into this thing called your ass? Once upon a time, two dumbasses went to church. My foot is about to drill a hole in your ass. I can name five toes that are going to be in your ass. What am I going to do with this moment and that moment, I think? What did my dad do, you know? And, and went from there, especially in the way he behaves. The voice, you know, the sarcastic edge. Bob, what the hell are you doing? You're depressing the kids. I'm saying it now. <laughs> Get out of my chair, Bob, or you're gonna get a candy cane up your chimney. It'd be hard to say what I contributed and what I didn't. I know I contributed a lot. I can think back to what he looked like in a pilot, and, you know, what he looks like now. Look, I appreciate the thought. No, well, that's not true. <laughs> I mean, shoes are a weird gift to give another man. Okay, fine. I bought the shoes for myself, but they pinch my toes, so... I decided to pawn them off on you as a gift. You were just trying to screw me over? <laughs> well, I can respect that. <laughs> Thanks for the shoes, Bob. <laughs> See, I have a friend. It's probably all in all the best thing I've done because of what the show is and is represented. <laughs> Look at all that hail and buffalo. How can you watch this? <laughs> It comforts me to know that there are people out there more miserable than me. <laughs> like those people in Buffalo. And you. We have a terrific cast. When they cast Deborah Joe and I, they pretty much knew what they were getting. It's like someone got drunk and put everything out of order. <laughs> Red, wouldn't kill you to thank him. It might, I just had a heart attack. I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> well, go ahead. But you only get one flush, so make it count. <laughs> they didn't necessarily cast actors. They cast people that they liked. And uh, that paid off. They laid the foundation very carefully. Look who tore himself away from himself long enough to join. <laughs> yeah, usually he's too busy for lunch. <laughs> hey, Dad, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but... Can I talk to you in private for a moment? No, I don't think so. We have the 70s thing, goofy things go on, 360s and fantasies and stuff, but they manage to always keep the focus of the show on the characters. We'll just have to make the best of this. Besides, with Donna for a mother, there's a decent chance the kid will be good at sports. <laughs> it was about the characters, it was about the family, and, you know, and things surrounding the family. That's what paid off. I can't believe you said you failed with me. Come on, that was a joke. 
You know, like a priest and a rabbi walk into a bar or I failed with you. <laughs> Do you really think that? No, not completely. <laughs> Maybe you're not good at fixing stuff. But you stayed behind from school to help the family out. And that's admirable. It's always had a great nostalgic feel to it. It's one of those odd things that it can be nostalgic even for people who are going through it for the first time. Living here is a real bad idea. There's no privacy. Where will you hide if Donna has a chore for you? You'll have to dive under the trailer. Hey, could you help me unload some groceries from the car? See what I mean? I'm cornered like an animal. <laughs> Coming, honey. Your life is gonna be a living hell. <laughs> In a sense, we'll always be a part of people's adolescence in a strange way, you know, even if they came to it later in life. Why is it always my house? I know something very interesting about someone we know very well. If half of what you say is true, everybody in this town would have VD. <laughs>